How to add and subtract mixed numbers, example 2. First thing to say is remembering that adding and subtracting fractions is the same method, whether you're adding or subtracting. Uh, and this, this example builds on the previous example, so the method is going to be exactly the same. It's just that in this example, at the end, we'll be left with an improper fraction and we're going to change that back to a mixed number and ensure our fraction is expressed in its simplest form. So let's look at our example. 5 twelfths add 2 and 1 quarter. So the first thing we're going to do is going to change this mixed number into an improper fraction. So this fraction here stays the same. Bring the add sign down. So our mixed number of 2 and a quarter to make that improper, we're going to do 4 times 2, add 1 is 9, and the denominator stays the same. To explain why we did that, in one whole, there are 4 quarters. So in two whole, there are 8 quarters, and add 1. So it's denominator times the whole number, and then add the numerator. 9 quarters. Before we can add these fractions, we need to make the denominator the same, just like we did in other examples. And we're going to find the lowest common multiple. So, we're going to write out our 12 times table to find the lowest number that is in the 4 times table and the 12 times table. So we're just going to write out the multiples one at a time until we find the number that's in both times table, a number that's common to both. And there we go. Snap. 12 is a common multiple of the 4 and the 12 times table and it's the lowest one. So we found the lowest common multiple. Now we're going to use that to make the denominators the same. So this is the first multiple. So we're going to take 12, and because it's the first multiple, we're going to times this denominator by 1. And whatever we do to the denominator, we must do to the numerator. Here, for our 4, 4 times table, it's the third multiple is 12. So we're going to times this denominator by 3 times the numerator by 3. Now we're going to do these multiplications. Nine times 3 is 27. 4 times 3 is 12. Now we are ready to do our adding. So now we're going to do 27 add 5 is 32. Remember that when you add fractions or subtract fractions, the denominator stays the same. So our answer is 32 twelfths. And that is correct. We have an improper fraction. So what we're going to do is we're now going to change our improper fraction back into a mixed number. To do that, we're going to do 32 divided by 12, remembering that this line means divide. So how many 12s are there in 32? 1, 2. How many left over? We're going to count from 24 up to 32. Use your fingers if it helps. The answer is 8 out of 12. Again, the denominator stays the same. So we have a mixed number answer of 2 and 8 twelfths. Nearly there, but to give the best possible answer, we're going to simplify 8 twelfths. To simplify this fraction, we need to find the highest common factor. Right now, so just remind ourselves what a factor is. So a factor is a number that divides 
into another number exactly without leaving a remainder. So let's work out the factors of 8. To do that we're going to work out the factor pairs. So the first pair of numbers that multiply together to make 8. 1 times 8, 2 times 4. 3 doesn't work. If you divide 8 by 3 you'll get a remainder. It doesn't divide exactly without leaving a remainder. So the factors of 8 are 1, 2, 4 and 8. Factors of 12 start again at the beginning. 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4, I can't use 5, and that's our factors of 12. So let's find a common factor. First common factor is 1, the next common factor is 2, and another common factor we have is 4. The highest common factor is 4. So we divide this numerator here by 4. We divide this denominator here by 4. So we still have our 2 whole. 8 divided by 4 is 2. 12 divided by 4 is 3. So our answer is 2 and 3, uh, 2 and 2 thirds. Remember that this is the correct answer, this is correct, and this is correct, but this is the best way to express your answer. So we've got an improper fraction, a mixed number, and a mixed number with the fraction in its simplest form. They're all equivalent. Just write that out to show, so it's easier to show that they're all equivalent. So all three are equivalent to each other. Let's just check that we've done that correctly. 5 twelfths add 2 and a quarter. Step 1 is to change the mixed number to an improper fraction. We did that by doing 4 times 2 is 8, add 1 is 9. So we had 5 twelfths add 9 quarters. Then we needed to make the denominators the same. First, we, to do that, we find the lowest common multiple. The lowest common multiple of 12 and 4 is 12. So we times 5 twelfths by 1, and we did 9 times 3 is 27, and 4 times 3 is 12. We added up the numerator, 32. Denominator stayed the same, 32 over 12. We changed the improper fraction into a mixed number. 32 divided by 12 is 2, and 8 twelfths. We simplified 8 twelfths to 2 thirds by finding the highest common factor. And we ended with 2 and 2 thirds. And that is how you add and subtract mixed numbers and how you change your answer back from an improper fraction into a mixed number and simplify as you need to.